Good morning, everyone. Um, it's about 8.15 in the morning and I'm just about to get on the road to Bryce Canyon, About running about 15 minutes late, but I'm all packed up. Even seems like I have more room than I used to. I just filled up the water. So I think that these next two days might be the most challenging mentally speaking because I saw the forecast. It's supposed to be pretty cold in the 20s at night in Bryce Canyon and like the 40s during the day, which was pretty tough in the Grand Canyon for me. But also there's gonna be like 25 mile an hour winds <laughs> one night. And oh my gosh, one of the worst nights I have ever had was camping in the Guadalupe Mountains in Texas, about two hours east of El Paso. And I think we had like 30 or 35 mile per hour winds, or maybe I'm exaggerating that. But Ben, Lena, can you corroborate those wind speeds in the Guadalupe Mountains? You guys were there. I was literally camping and the, <laughs> I was sleeping in the tent and the tent walls were hitting my head from the gusts of wind. I, I don't think I slept like two hours that night. So that was in my other tent. I have this tent now, which I think will give me some more protection from the wind because of the vestibule and the way that the, um, the way that the uh, the tent walls are so hopefully I won't have a similar experience to Guadalupe Mountains but we'll see because wind will make it tough to cook have fires stay warm yeah here we go so I got a site there were actually plenty of them <laughs> if you can believe it there's snow everywhere update all the sites were taken about two hours after I arrived, maybe three hours. So I got here around 10.15, just FYI. If you're coming to camp here in winter, I think it pays to get here before noon, at least on the I actually, I found one where the tent area doesn't have any snow. So I think I kind of lucked out there. Also pretty close to the restrooms, which normally I wouldn't go for, but with the wind and the cold, might not be a bad idea to be. <laughs> not walking so far for to brush my teeth or use the restroom. An indoor dishwashing station, amazing. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so killer. Stopping at Ruby's, Ruby's in general store in Bryce Canyon, uh, the town just outside of the park. Gonna get some firewood, a snack. I had a great stop at the visitor center here at Bryce Canyon. Um, it's probably my favorite visitor center so far. It really has a lot of information, a lot of cool exhibits, um, showing you the history, the geological history of the of this place. I watched a 24 minute video um, giving some history of the different tribes of uh, who have called this place home or have visited here or it's important to them. Um, Bryce Canyon, uh, I learned at the Visitor Center, is also has one of the darkest skies in North America. I had been aware already that the stars could be super, super visible. Um, so I'm excited and tonight I'm going to set up my tripod um, and just see what I can capture with my camera, obviously. I've got, I don't have a super, super professional camera, um, but I was able to get some nice ones um, when I was camping in Big Bend in the fall when Mars was out. I'll share that photo with you. Um, so I'm hoping at least I can capture some nice photos tonight. Okay, I've got my tripod set up over here. Um, hopefully get some nice photos of the stars. Here's the view, so I bet we'll be able to get some good ones. Here's my fire that took me about two hours to get going because it's super, super wet here and I had damp wood, <laughs> but perseverance, everyone, perseverance. Kept me warm anyway in the meantime, wanted to get kindling. <laughs> so this is my first day in Bryce Canyon and so far the weather has been good. It's been actually a really nice temperature. The winds aren't supposed to pick up till tomorrow and it's a little warmer. Um, overnight than, than I had expected. So fingers crossed, 
Um, all is going well, and I can't wait to share my hike with you tomorrow. Good night.